Hey, welcome back. Real quick, Van here. Today, we're going to try out from Harbor Freight. It's the winch, cable winch puller, 8,000 pounds. Because I got my truck stuck in the backyard. All right. Let's open it up. See what we got here. I called the record company and they said, oh, you're too far out in the yard for us to do anything for you. Okay. So, $29 later, Harbor Freight. And let's see, this, they had a 1,200 pound and they had an 8,000 pound. Let's try the 8,000 pound. All right. All right, so I like to show you a few things about this uh, cable, winch, come on, puller, whatever you want to call it. This has got 8,000 pound capacity. It's got a guide for your cable to go through right here as you're cranking it and whatnot. Uh, it's got a swivel here for this one. Uh, seems to be really good construction. Uh, I used this thing pretty good the other night to get myself out of the backyard <clears throat> but what I noticed about this one flaw that I noticed about this was these locks here to keep uh, your chain hooked in there whatever you're going to hook into it are not the best <clears throat> that's just real thin sheet metal or tin I'm not sure what that is but it's not very good it's about the thickness of a coke can if you ask me uh, but I didn't see any cracking right here I didn't see any fraying I, I checked this thing over pretty good uh, this is a double pull if you need to pull it uh, double pull one thing I noticed about this as well is that you've got a mechanism right here lock this there's a little bit of play in that I guess it's good I don't know but there's you pull this latch up right here to unlock it and then there's really no good way to unlock this from the teeth unless you use a screwdriver in here and there was times when I had a lot of tension put on this cable and I would want to release the tension to get a better lock on my truck you know to be able to pull it out and I'd have to take, release this, and pry this up at the same time to be able to release the cable. Uh, maybe I didn't quite understand the instructions, but it didn't, it wasn't all that great as far as trying to take that off. So was not happy with that, but I like, I like the cable guy. This thing held up really good out there for what I was using it for, and, and the whole time, I was wondering, is, is this thing going to hold up? Because it had a lot of tension on it. It took two hands up here pulling it. That's how much I had tension I had to pull to get my truck out. But it held up real good. I'm happy with it. I hope y'all enjoy the footage from the video that you're fixing to see. Me being stuck in the backyard. So, uh, I would recommend this winch for what I used it for. It, it did real good. So... Y'all just watch the video and see how it done me out there in the backyard. Let's go hook it up. Well, if you've been following my channel, you know I got a, an ugly shed back here. And that's what I was doing was tearing it down. I was going to back up and load the stuff up. And, well, you know, I got a little, a little stuck here.
gosh, I'm tired. <laughs> this is the second chain I got from Harbor Freight. Oh, man. Maybe I can get out of the backyard now. The winch worked good. The come along. So, if you're here for the come along review, it's an 8,000 pound cable winch come along. Uh, it worked great. So now we're on to, I got close enough to where I can actually, with this chain, should be able to hook it to this SUV that I'm driving right now and pull my truck out of the backyard, hopefully. We'll see. This costed a freaking wad of money. <laughs> I'm absolutely exhausted. Wait till you see the yard tomorrow morning. Yeah, oh man, it ain't good. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Right now, I'm fixing to relax. But the winch, uh, it's the cable winch puller, 8,000 capacity. Had to use it again several times since we got back with the chain. And yeah, it held up like a champ. I don't like the unlock mechanism in it. Or maybe I didn't quite understand how to it's use not it. a very good design right there but maybe that's the way they all are or like I say maybe they didn't have very good instructions on showing how to use that part but other than that it held up pretty good it held up better than my fence did when I hooked the winch puller to the fence <laughs> all right I'm going I'm going to relax so it's the next day and the reason why I had to get my truck out of the backyard so bad was because five o'clock this morning the bottom fell out and then been... right here oh don't that's the aftermath and i was going to stay up close to the pool where it's always dry because that's the building i was tearing down and i got up in here and it started right there i pulled in and i was going to back up towards the pool i had to put the tin underneath the wheels got it backed up with come along and then she went for it and it stopped right there. So I tied to that tree over there with the swing that I've got to repair because the snow ripped the top. Actually the chain's still around the tree. <laughs> and I pulled my truck up so far and she just kept romping down on it. See there's a there's a pile of mud. There's a pile of mud. And then she went for it. And she got going. But the chain was still wrapped to the front end of my truck, so she had to stop right there, right? It was dry right there, dry. And I had to unhook the chain from the front of the truck. So then when she started going again, well actually she got out and I started going, I'm like, it's stuck. It's stuck again, you believe this? Okay, now you're gonna love this part. So I'm, I hook it to her car and she's pulling and she's pulling and then I'm coming over here, and I'm coming through this gate right here. Is my tire tracks where I get stuck some more. Uh, oh, caked up mud. Look at all that mud that fell off during the middle of the night. Okay, you're gonna love this. Wait for it. Here we go. The fence took out the side of my truck. <laughs> the fence took out the side of my truck. Oh, I believe that's, that's deep. <sighs> well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed my fiasco. I hope you enjoyed the review of this Harbor Freight 8,000 uh, pound cable winch. So, I don't know. I'll, hopefully, I'll never have to use this thing again. I've got a lot of chain and a lot of, and one hell of a winch. But if anybody lives around me and you get stuck, holler. I'll come over with the winch. <laughs> a winch. All right. Y'all have a good one now. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And you come back.